The views expressed by our guests in the following video are solely the opinions of our guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and or opinions of the Ola7 podcast show. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello guys, welcome to the Ola Podcast Show and today we have another thrilling edition of the Genius Kids. This is the only show that talks to extraordinary kids who are doing the most out there. Today I'm delighted to have here with me CKC presenters. These children are also part of Precious Children's Arts Organization, PICA, which is a performing arts organization for children and young people where they learn dance, music, theater, storytelling, and media as they tap into the world of presenting and other media techniques. So these guys are very good dancers and actors. They draw, they sing, art, you name it, they do it. I am with Brooklyn, I have Tawana, and I have Zane. Hello, guys. Welcome Hello. To Hello. Thank you. All right, so to start off, I want to know how old you guys are and which school you go to. So I'm going to start with you, Brooke. Oh, okay. Um, I am Brooklyn, as you said. I am a 10-year-old girl that attend on the 31st of August. I'm a grade 5 student at Alfred Bay Primary School. Oh, that's wonderful. Let's come to you, Tawana. Okay. I am a girl aged 14. I learned at St. John's in Motel. Oh, that's nice. Let's come well, to you, Zane. I'm a boy, age 10 years old, and I go to Belvedere Primary School. All right, that's so interesting. Let's get into your grades. What grade are you in, Brooke? I'm a grade five. All right, and you, Tawana? I'm in form two. Yes. Grade four. All right. Uh, now let's get into your favorite subjects, because you guys can't just <laughs> go to school and not have a favorite subject. So, Brooke, what's your favorite subject? I love math and science. Why? Science is actually going to help me with my career if I want to grow up. All right. Sure. Tell and what's your favorite I'm subject? interested in history and Shona. Oh, yeah, arts. That's African, nice. Yeah. I'm a person of arts in general. <laughs> I want to continue with arts as I grow. That's nice. Okay. Zane? Well, my favorite subject is English. Why English? English. It's like you can just see it everywhere. So you're very good at English? Yeah. So what's the most sophisticated English word that you know? <laughs> <laughs> What's the biggest English word you know? <laughs> okay, let's leave it there. Yeah. I'll come back to that one. All right. So I know you guys are into presenting. Please don't take my job. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you, um, Brooke. Yes. yes. Just show us a bit of what you can do. Okay, guys, hello, we are from CKC, and guys, our levels are leveling up. Don't forget, Dini when you when you Brooklyn dot Dini when you Brooklyn dot Okay, this goes after my job. <laughs> Tawana, let's see you do okay, something. Okay, so this is your bestie Tawana, and I would like to welcome you to another episode of CKC as we are leveling as always. And as always, we are your vibe plug. Okay, just a vibe plug. This is your vibe plug. <laughs> Presenters out there, look out for this one. Yes. <laughs> Let's come to you, Zane. Well, this is your boy, Zane Matenga, and you are watching CKC live stream at Nash, what, Nash Paint. Yeah, Nash boss. Studios. Yeah, Nash Studios. Thank you so much, Zane. Well done. Okay, so let's talk about how your presenting skills came about. Uh, I'm going to start with you, Brooke, as well. Uh, what inspired you to become a presenter? Um, I, be ju I was just watching... Um, people just presenting they was like i'm gonna get to do this one day i'm gonna do this that's nice who's your favorite presenter um i also follow up um, what's the name um uh, i forgot nikki yeah nikki nikki in the stars yeah. Auntie nikki. okay tawana uh, okay so how we came up with this cjc thing as a senior of pika i went to talk to my elders like, we wanted to start our own mini show for kids. You know, 
on ZBC and other TVs, it's just for elders, kids, and I just wanted it to be for like kids strictly, where we don't have to share with elders and Nina and I and that we want a show for ourselves. So that's how we came up with Creative Kids Corner and we started picking mini presenters from our organization. You see what you did there? It's called innovation. <laughs> you see a chance? Yes. You take the opportunity. That's what you did there. Well done, girl. Well, when I'm not going to school with my mother, yeah. she always says, let me just play Star FM for you, right? Ah, Star FM, sounding good all the time. Yeah, <laughs> and then and then when I, whenever I hear Nikki sound, when she's talking to children, she acts like a child. Okay. When she's talking with adults, yeah. she acts like an adult. Okay. So that's, that's one thing that I liked of being like a presenter so i was like ah, let me just ask auntie chipo okay so aunt nikki your projects are here they're following in your footsteps <laughs> all right so let's talk about the most mem- memorable moment you had or experienced whilst presenting like what has been that one event you said i enjoyed presenting at this one okay let's start with you brooke i enjoyed it at let them trust I presented how we did the things and everything. I just felt happy. I was like, I'm going live. I'm going live. I'm excited. All right. So presenting brings you joy. Yeah. Yeah. So you should do that. Everyone should do what they enjoy. Let's come to you, Tawana, my girl. Okay. So there's a time when we had ghetto boys. It all sets. Okay. <laughs> okay. Boys. And then they asked me like to take over them, be their host and interact with them. I really enjoyed it because I'm not a child who stays in the ghetto. So interacting <laughs> with kids like that, their language, how they talk, it just <laughs> made it more fun for me. You're yeah. not from the ghetto. Where are you from? Separate. My dodo. <laughs> okay. You're from the other side of Samoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Zane. Uh, what has been your most memorable experience of presenting? Well, when you we went to let them trust, like what Brooklyn said, mm-hmm. so there was like, uh, well, where people were playing games, right? Like the VR and something. So they told me to go and like present their tell te- um asking them that what what do you actually do and how how does it feel in a VR? And then when I when they just put the VR in it, I was like, ah, this is like me in a game. But I'm feeling like I'm a human. Alright. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, but guess what? What? I almost fell. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't fall. Yeah, I did. Okay. It. Someone caught me. Ah, thank God for that person. Oh. <laughs> okay. And they actually gave me a card, but I don't know where it is. But I think I left it at home. Now you find it. I'm sure you will. Yeah. Okay, guys. Let's get into what do you enjoy most about presenting? I'm going to start with you, Tawana. What I enjoy most about presenting is I get to link with kids that have talent like me. Yeah. Yes, like I start interacting with them, knowing what they do, what they're best at, and figuring out what kids are doing in the arts industry. And I tell you, kids are doing a lot. And I really enjoyed watch kids, you know, shine like me because it's rare to find someone who has talent and showcase it as a child. So that's what I really enjoy. <laughs> okay, so, um, what do you enjoy most about presenting? Well, when I'm presenting, I just feel like her is kind of disturbing me, just uh uh uh, like that. Yes, it's true, it's true. Well, but when we're presenting, there was this day when we uh, say the day of the African child, ah, the day of the African child, yes, so. We just had some fun presenting and stuff and stuff like that. When Brooklyn was busy eating and then Auntie, <laughs> Ch- uh, and Auntie Chibo came, right? I don't remember, was it Auntie Power or Auntie Chibo between those two? She came recording saying, you guys should speak, saying the day of the African child. And Brooklyn was eating. Brooklyn, the- <laughs> Brooklyn, sorry, group. <laughs> okay. She was busy eating and then when she said, the day of the African child, it was like food was going like, oh, no, 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 like that. <laughs> well, what inspired me when, when the day of the African child is, well, when um, Mama Tawa, like, she was like saying, do you actually like presenting, right? 
and then I actually liked it. So you enjoy presenting? I enjoy presenting. Is there something you see yourself doing in the future? Are you like, when I grow up, I'm going to be a presenter? Yeah. Okay. Good. But when I grow up, I'm, I want to be a, someone who plays soccer. Oh, you want to be a soccer star. Okay, yeah. we're going to talk about that, Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Brooklyn, the eater. What do you know what you want to present? Okay, so Brooklyn, what do you enjoy about presenting? I enjoy meeting different people from other groups and meeting people that do different things from us and I'll be learning more from them. Okay, yeah, that's, that's nice. Thank you. So okay. how do you prepare for your presentations, Brooke? Um, I... I usually prepare on the weekends, on my free time, yeah, and on my spare time sometimes. So between homework and watching cartoons, you're also preparing? Yes, I do them both because I have a quick mind, so I can ah, do that. Okay. Both. Yeah, it's, it's not <laughs> okay. Tawana, how do you prepare for your presentations? So what we usually do is the day before we present was sent like a PDA for what we're supposed to do. Okay. And when we started, oh. like we would be given a full script, but as we went on, we were, we were told, Kitty, you guys should start improvising on your own. Okay. So I had to make spare time, like understand, okay, fine, this is the script, this is the line I'm given, I'm supposed to say like 10 or more words about it. So my plan is going on the mirror, acting like the mirror is my audience, <laughs> yet it's me start practicing on my own, talking, talking and stuff. So when I'm now on set, it's now easier for me to keep going because I know what I've been doing for her. The mirror technique. We've all been there. <laughs> <laughs> the mirror is your best friend. Yeah. <laughs> Zayn, how do you prepare for your presentations? Well, when I'm preparing with the presentations, I actually like maybe go into my room take and then I take a paper, write my words, then I start yelling what's her be reading what's my mother would be like keep quiet keep quiet <laughs> and i would be saying i want to i want to revise and then when when now like presenting right i actually know the words by head oh smart mm. <laughs> okay so transwakuti brooke and zane you guys are inspired by aunt nikki from Star FM? Yes. Now I want to know from you, Tawana, which presenter inspires you? KVG. Ah, Kuzai yeah. Violet Gua. Yes. The queers. Yes. Okay. Okay, girl, I see you. So I want to know what challenges you guys have been facing. As you guys aspire to be presenters. I'll start with you, Tawana. Okay, so sometimes when one said to are just step by like the wind. Yeah, sometimes it's the wind, sometimes the sun direction, the angle and, you know, vocals and stuff like that. So sometimes you don't have the mic, so you have to be loud and, yeah, things like that. And sometimes when you're grabbing kids from different organizations, trying to push them to have the confidence that you have so that it won't seem like you're taking much of their spotlight, you know. Because myself, I'm energetic. Oh, and I if see I meet you. someone who's down, <laughs> I then feel bad. Kitty. Okay, fine. This person doesn't have the same energy vibe mm -hmm. that I have. Now, trying to push them so that we can keep on moving is hard. So that's something I'm trying to work on. Teamwork. Okay, so from what you're saying, from what I'm hearing from you, you're a trainer, you're coaching the other kids. Yes. Let me just find out from you, how, when did you start this whole presenting thing? How old were you? Well, I started... Creation, actually, <laughs> in when, kindergarten. Yes. Okay. When they like do these plays, and they're like, okay, this child is more confident. And then you're the president, you're the news reporter, you're <laughs> this, and it kept on growing like that. Yet I thought it was just a beam, a hobby. Tichiri <laughs> Papo, <laughs> how far do you see yourself going? Do you think you're like the next Oprah Winfrey? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that might be big. But you know, sometimes parents make decisions for you. Yeah. So I might not have the privilege to be like, okay, that's what I want. But definitely that's my plan B. <laughs> okay, uh, Brooke, what challenges are you facing as you aspire to be a presenter? Challenges I faced. Ah, when you are presenting, right, mm -hmm. you'd be supposed to be looking at the camera directly. Uh -huh. Yep. And sometimes you'll be confused what to say. And sometimes you'll be 
thinking of your work at school and you won't be able to concentrate on what you have to be doing right now. So it will be hard for you to concentrate right. and you're supposed to be perfect in what you'll be doing. <laughs> you know what I think? With the way you guys are going and the practice sessions that, you'll be have, that you're having, I'm sure one day you get there. You get Thank there. You. you get to perfection. Ben Zane, my guy, mm? what challenges are you facing as you aspire to be a presenter? Well, the challenges that I face is like when the kids are playing, making noise. I like feel like go, like telling. I would be wanting to tell them like keep quiet. Keep quiet. Just step Let in me. Let me speak. Hey. Yeah, okay. And whenever I want to speak, I can just go like um. Let me think what I want to say. Mm-hmm. Then, and then I can actually think for like twenty minutes or so. Mm, and then we'd be already done. Do you know the English word for people who think deeply? <laughs> <laughs> They're called philosophers. Oh, philosophers. Yes. So today when you go on Google, I want you to look up someone called Aristotle. He was a what? philosopher. What? Aristotle. Aristotle. Yes. Okay. He's a philosopher like you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I don't know. I don't think you guys have stage fright or nerves, but... Maybe no busanga no nazo. Pani pangwe pa epektu abu da kunda stage or on set. How do you guys handle nerves? Let's start with my girl Tawana. <laughs> well, being in the arts thing since I was a child, I've learned to master bit by bit. But surprisingly, every time before I'm on set, I have stage fright anyway <laughs> because it's just a peek through the stage. I can see those people over there. Okay, that's my mom. It's gonna start shouting. Dear mano angu, your my relatives are there. Like it's just pressure 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 and sometimes you forget what you're trying to do forget the words on your script forget your lines and you just panic but then what i do is i remember that i'm not alone in this i'm sharing the stage with brooklyn i have zayn i have him her and they're gonna help me set the stage on balance they're not looking up to me only this is me and my group so it's trying to build up the confidence (sighs) In out, stretching, Doremi Fasolati, trying to make things work. Yeah, that's how we've. I'm taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brooke, uh, how do you handle stage fright, nerves? How how do you prepare just before you get on set on stage? Oh, I do have stage fright sometimes. Okay, but I just dance a bit while we're making a line going on stage. You're dancing. Yeah, I'll be just. <laughs> yes. Okay, which song do you dance to? I like um, I'm a piano songs. Dun, 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 yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, all right. And Zane, how do you handle stage fright? Well, I never had stage fright. Ah, okay. Oh. Zane never had stage fright. <laughs> because right? I've been in the arts since I was three years old. Beautiful stuff. And how old are you now, nine? Yeah. So you've been doing this for six years. Mm-hmm. You're basically a pro guy. <laughs> I, 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 even when I was three, I could just see my batawa dancing, dancing. So I, when it was the first time when I went there, I was busy waving, 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 and she couldn't see me. And then she did this, and then I was busy waving again. <laughs> and then when I just told my mother that, may I please join this, this um, what they are doing right now? Um, so this is I started that when I was three years old. Mm-hmm. And then, now I'm nine. I, I never had stage fright. So you actually been doing this for like your whole life? Yeah. yeah. That's nice. <laughs> okay, so it is the only show in the land which showcases talents of kids, the genius kids here on the Ola Podcast show. So now we're also going to talk about PICA. P-I-C-A. Mm-hmm. It stands for... Precious Children's Children Arts, Arts Organization. Organization. Okay, so how has been this journey for you guys? Kuvapa makatanga kupinda mupika. Makadzizi, chichuru kuitika kupika oku. Katita ngeina tawana. Okay, so when I started Pika, it's like everyone looked up to me. It's <laughs> one of the seniors there. Okay. The toddlers, the juniors and all that. I had to be like the leader for them, leading mm-hmm. by example. So my journey from Pika has been fun. I find relief when I go to Pika because every week you go through school pressure and all that and you just need to calm down from the books. Mm-hmm. And Saturday is the solution because we have Pika every Saturday. So my journey has been amazing. So uh, on Saturdays you guys practice for how many hours? From uh-huh. 10 to 1. 
10 to 1. Okay. Yes. I might join you one of those days. <laughs> 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 and Brooke, how has been your journey with Pika? My journey was fine. Throughout my journey, I've been taught behavior, good behavior, how I should act around people, grown-ups, and other people. So I was like, every time when I say grown-up, Makadi, uh-huh. would he say, Masura say, for me to learn chi, that these people are older than me, and I have to show them good respect. Ubuntu. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Saying, my guy, yes. how's been your journey at Pika? Well, my journey at Pika was... Super amazing. Super amazing. Super. 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 Okay, what lessons have you learned at Pika? Well, at lessons from Pika, they tell us to have res- respect mm-hmm. and to always honor your elders, sisters, and other people. Like, whenever I see an adult at school or at home, I just go like, how are you? How was your day? Um, how was work? Like, like, whenever I go next door, right? Mm-hmm. Since there are dogs, I try to knock. Yeah. So, but I just get in. The dogs don't attack me because they know me well. Now they know you. Yeah. Okay. So besides us, these guys, Markutit is a teamwork. They are nourishing their minds. They are learning art. I think. Pika, from what I've heard from these guys, Pika is just a great safe space for kids to grow up in. Uh, you guys are in school, and when you give me pressure to homework, you're also doing sport. You have other activities that you're doing at school. So I want to know how you guys are balancing the pa pa weekend pa pa uni homework at the same time. Okwa na kuenda ku no practice from ten to one. How are you guys balancing that? Oh, me sometimes I do this. We do our practices on the weekends, uh-huh. and I have homework also on the weekend. So I just write my homework, maybe Friday night or when we're done our practice. And it goes well. It goes well. Yeah. It's going well. And you're doing well in school? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you, Tawana? Well, I've learned to be a night owl, studying in the night, doing homeworks in the night, because I don't feel like it's effective during the day. Okay. So, or oh, it's Friday, I make sure it's here. Weekend, I'm gonna have fun. So whatever homework I have, I'm gonna finish it today. Whether it's gonna be in the morning or what weekend, I'm gonna let loose and the books are gonna rest and I'm going to have fun. So that's the plan. Okay, I'm gonna have fun. Yes. <laughs> so how many hours do you sleep a night? I sleep the normal regular hours, six to seven. Six to seven, but you're also a night owl. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Zane, books and school. How's that going for you? Good. Very good. You're balancing well? Yes. Homework mm-hmm. is Work is good. Yes. I'm school at my lessons. Uh-uh. You're on practice. You yes. have to practice on time. Yes. Okay, good for well, you. Well, me, when I'm like, when it's speaker day, yes. um, I actually set my own time table, times table, so that I can say, when I go ho- when I go to Pika, I would be done with my homework because I actually wake up around four, five, six. Mm-hmm. And then I just say, ah, let me just write my homework. When I write my homework, I just say, let me go and bath, and then I bath, and then I go to Pika. So that's how I... So I organized, my guy. You might be more organized than I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Tawana Nyasha, you are into dancing, singing, and acting. What inspired you to do all those things? Why not just focus on one thing? Um, so when I started theater, yeah. I realized I could touch all, but of course I'll have a strength in something more, but if I believe that if I had confidence in myself, then definitely I can do everything. I can sing, I can act, I can dance, you name it all. I believe that if I could have the passion to, and I told myself that, yes, I can do this, then definitely I can. Yeah. Which one do you enjoy the most? I think I enjoy... Well, dancing is connected to singing, so I would say it's one thing. <laughs> Can you sing whilst dancing? Yeah. Yes. Now that we're talking about singing, let's sing. I want you guys to just give me a little bit something. <laughs> oh, guys, come on. Okay. <clears throat> So I'll lead it, then you guys can follow. And I'll okay. dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Gainayem frangainaye Gainayem frangainaye Vura gainaye 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 That is beautiful You guys are beautiful vocals Enjoy and sing like I can tell you guys do this on a regular basis. Yes. <laughs> well done. Okay, so I want to talk about the projects that you've been doing. Which one has been your favorite project so far? Let's start with Tawana. Okay, so my favorite pro- project so far is the little Mr. and Miss Africa. Yeah. When we went there to watch um kids model and we also performed ourselves. That was like one of the best performances we heard this year. <laughs> is the juniors and seniors of Pika. We were interviewing different models and having time with them and it was actually very fun. So you were interviewing models yes. on the red carpet. Yeah. Yes. Guys, we have a red carpet presenter in the Ooh. house. <laughs> and oh, look, yeah. what project was your favorite? Mm, the project when we presented it led them. Led them. We were presenting um different people like especially house of talent I like the energy and vibe they give everybody will be cheering Oh you wanna want shout out to house of talent <laughs> uh, I give them support okay. but also us we also have the vibe mm-hmm. but talking about the best day yeah I liked it the let them trust yeah. event and you saying well, what has been your favorite project or event Well my favorite event was when we had le- we when we went at let them trust mm-hmm. when we did the stand what was it called when i had to do the the what do they call it kibeli <laughs> simela everybody was like oh yo like screaming screaming oh yo yeah. is that what they did they said oh yo yo visiting oh yo oh yo and then people were picky like copying my dance like yeah uh, so you're a dancer yeah i'm going to ask you to show me some moves after the show <laughs> okay okay right so is there i any... hope you have the music <laughs> of course i have music <laughs> so uh are there any new skills or techniques that you guys are working on let's start with Brooke. yeah we are learning our we are working on tra- our traditional dances okay We are getting to do Monday, especially Monday. We are good at Monday. And what is Monday? It's a type of dance. It's a type of dance. Yeah. Af- For African what traditional it? dance? Hmm? Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. You guys will have to show me that. So <laughs> asking for rain. Asking yeah. for rain. So the Monday is a rain making ceremony, ceremony dance. dance. Yes. Ah, interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Um Let's talk about your goals and dreams for the future. I'll start with you Brooke as well. What are your goals and dreams for the future? Mm. My goals are to be the best person. I want to be a number one all the time and I also want to be great and to be to do my career perfectly and everything I do to be perfect. You will be. Thank I you. can see the kind of motivation and inspiration mm. you have. <laughs> you are going to be great. And Tawana What's your future? What's the future of Tawana looking like? Oh, okay. So the future of Tawana has a plan A and a plan B. <laughs> okay. So as much as I'd love to continue with arts, I think I have to do something first then I'll do the arts. So I aspire to be a lawyer. Ah, Tinagwe. Oh, wow. Is to lie in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that's plan A. Plan B is I'm going to continue with arts. Okay. I'm going to you know there are kids who don't have the privilege of showing their talents. I'll be hunting down those kids so that they can showcase who they really are. <coughs> their dance, their acting, their what moving in different parts of the world or the country in general. Searching for those kids so that they can really fulfill who they are. And Zain my guy? Yes. What do you want to be when you grow up? I don't. Well, what what I want to grow up I want to be a soccer player or a doctor. Soccer player or a doctor, you can do both. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As, uh, anyway, I got three things. Uh-huh. A soccer player, mm-hmm. a doctor, 
and a singer between those three between those three mm -hmm. i think you can do all three <laughs> <laughs> how how could i go to the to the football stadium also i'm supposed to go and sing and i'm supposed to go you just manage your time like you're doing now <laughs> okay so speaking of soccer which which position do you play in the field um well i play as a goalkeeper you're a goalie okay so i got a piece of butter but i um um uh -huh. Even if they want to make me go this side, right? You oh, will fly that uh, side. No, if 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 they want me to go this side, what they want to go this that side? I actually, I, I when they like, okay, I need, yeah, yeah, good data, good data, yeah, no data board, ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, I just like being a goalkeeper. You so like I started when we go to school, right? I sometimes play ball, right? So they told me to try out the goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, ah, maybe I'm going, to, I'm going to be talented, right? Yeah. Ah, you should guess what I did. What did you do? I. What did you do? It ended up one nail was I, I I didn't get the ball nicely. <laughs> <laughs> no, it happens. Yeah, it happens. it happens. So, what's your favorite soccer team? Well, my favorite soccer team is Man Manchester City. Manchester City. Do I can win a league, ka? Yes. So, I, I'm not. A, I'm not huge on soccer, but. And who's your favorite player? Ronaldo. <laughs> Sierra 7. Sierra 7. That's why I'm wearing the track suit right now. <laughs> why not Messi? Don't talk about Messi. Okay. Okay, I'll keep quiet. And you're also into scouts. What badge or award are you most proud of earning in the scouts? Well, I've earned the, the bravery. When I was brave, when we you're went for brave. camping... Yeah. What act of bravery did you do? This one is as brave as a lion. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> so was, but when we're sleeping, right, there could be like some animals like walking, walking around. So I sometimes get fear. Okay. And then some of the people were like, just woke up and then started to scream. Ah, ah, ah. And then I was just like, ah. Let me just be brave. Let me face my fears. And then I was just like, hey, let me just sleep. I was busy sleeping. <laughs> you were busy sleeping. I was busy the sleeping. Were well, was the lions are going like, <laughs> <laughs> You see, this guy is brave. Okay, so I know you also play some instruments. Yes. Which instruments do you play? Um, The marimba. <laughs> the marimba. And what's your favorite song to play on the marimba? Kananangyura. Kanandanyura, my Kanandanyura, that one. Yeah. You can play that on the marimba. Yeah. Next time you're going to bring marimba and you play that one for us. Okay. <laughs> so it goes like. You sound good already. So. What's the most challenging part of doing soccer, doing scouts, playing an instrument, being an in, being a presenter? Well, I'm going to choose one day. Mm -hmm. So the most challenge is at so soccer is like when somebody wants to tackle you and then you get injured. Uh, and then you get suspended. Have you ever been injured? Yeah. How many times? Just once. But you're okay now? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank God for life. <laughs> Brooklyn, I understand it is your dream to be a doctor. Um, you said your favorite subject is squeeze maths and science. And science. So mm -hmm. you're a wizard maths. Mm -hmm. You're in grade four? Five. Five. Yes. So you can do long division. Mm -hmm. Anything. Anything in math, you can do it. Okay. So what qualities do you think a good doctor should have? A good heart, of course, and God-fearing. A good heart and God-fearing. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. Do you enjoy reading books, watching movies about doctors? Um, I love 
I love watching movies of doctors. Okay. What what has been your favorite movie so far? The Good Doctor. Okay. The Good I watched that one. <laughs> Dr. Murphy. Yes. Oh, yes. Um have you ever helped someone who was sick or hurt and how did that make you feel? Um yes, I helped my grandmother when I go for holiday. I dress her leg up sometimes because she was injured on her leg. Mm. So I dress her leg up and I make her medications and I feel happy and I feel that like I'm actually a doctor today. You feel satisfied. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Brooklyn. <laughs> okay, so just as we wrap up, I want to know what other hobbies you guys have. Let's start with my man, Zane. What's your, what other hobbies do you have? Well, I'd like to be a doctor because my mother, uh, she went for the operation on her eye. It was, it had, what did I call it? a nervous. So she, she had, um, catch gold for the operation and I had to just sit down whilst I, I was not allowed inside. I was like, ah, oh, why, shame. why, why? Ah, and then when we, when we went home, I shared a bandage over here. Oh, and then when they removed it, they said I have to, she has to drop some medication in the eye. So I actually help her and then I just say, Mommy, are you okay? Because I'm scared. But she's okay now? Yeah, she's okay. Right. And Tawana, what other hobbies do you have? Um, I really love reading novels. Ah, and me too. Poetry. <laughs> yes. What's your favorite novel? Uh, I love Shona novels. Uh -huh. So I read this novel by Chenjirai Uwave, which is named Masimba Avano. Masimba Avano. Yeah. Okay, guys. And I'm not reading Masimba Avano, but Chenjirai Uwave. And Brooke, what other hobbies do you have? Um, I like swimming. All right. Yeah. yeah. Um, it started when at school, when we go for swimming, it calms me down. <coughs> even when I'm low, I just go for swimming, and I feel good. Yeah, because people tell me that swimming is that therapeutic. I don't know how they pronounce it. Therapeutic. <laughs> yeah, therapeutic. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah. The water does something for your soul. Yeah. All right, guys, this has been the Genius Kids here on the Ola Podcast Show. It's your favorite show, the Genius Kids, and I'm your host, Aisha. And this is a show where we host young geniuses who come through and share their journey with us. Till we meet again, same time next week. Goodbye. the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in the extra mile of service so your car can go the extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy.